Hey guys, she has another dance competition today, so we're going to be trying out another bun. This one is called The Perfect Bun, and it's made by Remington, and I believe we purchased this at Walmart. It may have been Target, I'm not exactly sure. But this is what it looks like. It's like a little foam piece, and it has like wire in here, so it makes it tight. So all you want to do is just make a ponytail, and I like to put these up a little bit higher so that the bun kind of shows from the front as well. And before I wrap this up, I am going to spray her hair with a little bit of water and I'm going to add some pomade as well. The reason I'm getting this wet is because we're going to have curls when I take this down, so it's kind of like a two-part hairstyle. You don't want it soaking wet though. If you get it too wet, it's not going to dry. So just get it kind of barely damp. And then I'm adding some pomade. This is made by GHD. You can really use whatever you have on hand. And this is just going to keep it a little bit smoother and it's going to help it to go in without having a lot of flyaways. So to put this on your hair, you're just going to want to come here in the middle where the opening is and spread it apart. And then I don't put this at the very bottom. I put this up a little bit higher so that I don't have layers of her hair poking out as I'm trying to wrap this up. So just where your shortest layer is, you'll want it above that. And then just take the bun form and squeeze it back together so that it's kind of going to hold the hair tight. And then you'll want to take the ends and just put them kind of in the center of this ponytail. You don't want them sticking out along the sides because that's going to give you trouble as you roll it up. So just kind of nest them right there in the center and then you can start rolling. So as you can see, the sides of this ponytail are kind of holding those ends in the center for me so that I don't have tons of flyaways. And then when I get here to the top, I usually just spray some hairspray along this hair here so that it will stay smooth. So to wrap this into the bun shape, this bun maker is a little bit different than most I've worked with. Usually they'll have like a snap on it and so you snap the two ends together. All you do with this one is just kind of fold it down and the wire just holds it into place. So I try to get it as tight as I can so that it's almost touching and it will just hold just like that. The wire will keep it in place and then you'll just want to take this hair and kind of bring it together here at the bottom and then you'll need to use some bobby pins to keep that together. So what I usually do is just kind of pinch this hair together and then I grab the bobby pin and try to get a little of the hair on each side and then just push it in. And you'll probably need a couple of pins. If you're going to be dancing, you want to make sure that this isn't going to come out. So I usually take pins and go all the way around the bun. And you just want to grab some hair that's coming up to the ponytail along with the hair that's in the bun. And just squeeze those together with your pins. And this is a good time to fix any flyaways you have. If you see some coming down here, you can grab them with the pins as you're pushing this together. All right, here is the finished bun. I think this is one of the easier ones we have done. We have several others on our channel that make a bun that looks pretty similar to this, so if you want to check those out and see which one you like the best, I will have those linked below. Okay, her dance competition is over, so we just wanted to take this bun out to show the curls that it makes. Alright, so that's the type of curl you can expect from this. We actually only left this in for a couple hours, so it's still a little bit damp. If you leave it in longer, it's going to make even better curls.